Hey there folks, this is Matt from RetrolandGamingSystems.com and we're about to play some River City Ransom for the NES. Here we go. Here's the story. I hold your girlfriend captive and Ryan's girlfriend hostage. Uh, well, I can't read. I hold your city captive and Ryan's girlfriend hostage. With my gangs of students and evil bosses, nobody can stop me now. Meet my demands or else. P.S. Alex and Ryan, if you interfere, you'll be in for the fight of your lives. Slick. And that's... River City Ransom. Do I think I picked Ryan. Yeah. Here we go. Hmm. We start off with the regular gangs. Basically, River City Ransom, it's a game about... It's a game about, um... You got a high school student, and his girlfriend gets kidnapped, and he has to beat up a bunch of other high school students to save her. Until he gets to the... Boss high school student and he stops him. That's basically the plot of River City Ransom. It's a fun game. It's like a, it's a beat 'em up, but with a certain bit of RPG to it. You buy items and things, and you have stats. Oh, here's the generic dudes. There's different. Basically, there's different groups around. The generic dudes are the easiest. I'm not gonna. I'm doing this on the normal mode instead of the difficult mode because I was doing it on difficult mode. It's it's good, but it's just gonna take too long. And I feel like a lot of there will be a lot of repetitive sequences. I mean, in that mode, the generic dudes are basically the only ones you can take on really at the beginning without risking getting knocked out. They're the base stats, and they have different groups. And they have the frat, boy, uh, frat boys and the jocks, and certain groups, and then later on they have a few others. It's very easy to get killed in River City Ransom. When you, when you get, when that happens, you lose half your money, and you come back to the nearest town. All right, now in the beginning, the best thing to get is either the Dragon's Feet or Stone Hands. Basically, there are items that boost stats, and then there are certain items you hold on to that increase your um, your fighting ability and let you do extra things now. And basically, the Dragon Feet, they let you kick a few times. The Stone Hands let you punch a few times. I'm going to get the Stone Hands. And the reason I'm doing this is because at the beginning... The only real um, stat item that you can get for punching or kicking, which is the most important, is here in the sushi bar. I'm gonna get eggs. Number 10 is raw like Rocky. And basically, the way River City Ransom works is that depending on what items you get, you boost your stats, and when you beat up the other students, you steal their money. When you die, you lose half your money. There we go. Oh, I didn't read the book. So here, when you get a book, you read the belongings. Here's the stone hands. There you go. And accidentally have thrown it away before you can. Don't do it. It's very easy to hit that button. And then you won't have it anymore. You'll have to buy it back. And here's another group. I'm just going to progress through this as quickly as I can. Oh, I have no health. Wow. guts it. And the thing with River City Ransom is they have items that are very expensive, like expensive foods and things. And I think the best bet is to get the cheap stuff. Because when you die, you lose half your money. But I don't think it's an, it's that big a deal. Like, I tend to buy, buy as much as I can in the beginning, and at a certain point, 
you don't have to worry about let me see all right the first boss is supposed to be here but sometimes enemies don't spawn and I'll go back I know I'm at no health but I'm gonna chance it basically the first boss is here I forget his name I think it's like Ralph or something well, using him as a battering ram Mm -mm. You know, notice you can sort of jump on the building and they stop moving sometimes. Oh, here's the boss. So when he's talking to me, I'll just beat the crap out of him with, with my weapons here. And that was oh, Moose, the first boss. You get more money for him. There we go. Alright, folks. That was part one of my little playthrough of River City Ransom. I hope you enjoyed it. All our Social media pages are in the description box below. Be sure to like our Facebook and comment and do all that fun stuff. Really appreciate it. And as always, be sure to visit us at RetroLandGamingSystems.com. Alright folks, have a nice night and don't forget to stay retro.